In this evening's edition of the Health Report, Shamela Pullen looks at a debilitating condition that affects women, premenstrual syndrome. Premenstrual syndrome, PMS, affects changes in mood, emotions, physical health, and behavior. This usually happens a week to 10 days before the start of the woman's menstrual cycle or period. So it's quite common. About 90% of women who have their menses just prior to will have some symptoms. They tend to be mild and manageable. So most people might complain of bloating and their mood might change and they might feel a little bit more irritable and they eat a little less. And those symptoms will pass and you are fine. You can manage them with whatever intervention you have realized as being your, your, your go-to. Some women may experience more severe symptoms of PMS. This can have a negative impact on her daily activities and may also affect her quality of life. The reason for this is because there is a change in the level of your hormones just before the period. So the amount of estrogen and progesterone that you normally would have been exposed to um, slightly falls and you get these symptoms. Now, some symptoms can be quite severe and they interrupt your daily lifestyle. For teens, you have those who do not want to go to school or they do less um, well in their academic um, prowess because of what's happening to them and they require treatment just to get them through. Oftentimes, PMS can be managed with lifestyle changes and over-the-counter medications, but more severe symptoms may require a prescription from a medical doctor. It has been shown that if you exercise regularly straight throughout the month, then you actually experience less PMS symptoms as compared to when you don't. So dieting and exercise. And then back to the vitamins. So vitamin B6 helps to stabilize mood. And magnesium also helps to, it acts as a, as a stress supplement. So it helps to calm your mood. It helps to relieve headaches. It helps to relieve some of the bloating and constipation as well. With her health report, I'm Shamela Pullen wishing you good health.